What's up guys, it's Leah and I'm back for another video today And today I'm gonna start a new thing on this channel And I'm gonna start reacting to geniuses So like, you don't know some. I'm gonna start reacting to genius videos that tell you the meaning behind songs some of your favorite songs, some of my favorite songs, and so some songs that I really enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to what they say the meaning behind their song is, so I could like think like, well, is this what I thought about, or is this what I felt when I was listening to it? You know, so you know that's gonna be the new segment on this channel, and gonna get right into it. And the first video that I'm gonna be reacting to about a genius is. Queen Ninja uh, Karma. So, let's get right into it. I don't really remember a moment that inspired me. It was just the fact that I wrote medicine. And so, I followed up with Karma. I just wanted to tell people how I really, really, really felt like about like not being confident about myself. Like, because the worst feeling is being with somebody that don't want to be with you you might as well leave i know it's gonna hurt it's gonna it's probably gonna hurt because y'all not together but what hurts worse is when the person looking you in your face and dead don't want you like, <laughs> i met this guy by the name of el jefe in jersey and like the way i met him was like i think i put on my instagram story like i need beats or i not on my story maybe like I don't know, on my Instagram period, um, he DM'd me and was like, I emailed you some beats. Usually, I don't even check my DM, but I went and looked at it, and I was like, oh, these, like, sound nice. The extra production that was added, like, the boom, boom, the boom, boom, that came from Rob Grimaldi. He's from out here in New York. I like him. I told him, because he a white guy, but, like, he got soul in him, so I asked him, did he like black girls and stuff? <laughs> I held you down for the longest, and now I that through all our darkest moments. Being supportive in a relationship, I feel like it's really important because um, once you invest all that time into one person, sometimes you may not notice. You could lose um, relationships like with other people, or like they just fade away a little bit. Like you probably don't go around your friends as much as you hang with this person because like now you have someone else to like spend time with. So it's just like yesterday when we were homeless, got you some bread and stopped treating me bogus. We didn't build this brand together. We didn't build like so much. And now we got like well off, you know, we good enough to take care of ourselves and some more. And you want to start like acting up now, talking about you wanted something new. Like it wasn't good enough for you. Guess you didn't caught you a case of amnesia. Maybe you should take a look in your review. Cause obviously you forgot all the times that I held you when you cried. And don't you remember that even if you was in the wrong, I sit by your side. I took his side on a, a lot of things. I, I lost of I lost friends and relationships with family members. If I'm a right for you, I'm a right for you. So, but it just sucks because after all of that. No, I guess not. I guess not. Cause you let them thoughts take my spot. Congratulations to you. What you wanted is what you got now. I know that relationships are about forgiveness and people mature and things like that over time. But I also just stay because, one, we got a whole child together, and I feel like a lot of people stay because of kids. But I definitely, now looking at it, it's really unhealthy if your child in a home where the two parents not, like, seeing eye to eye. I would rather me be happy, him be happy separately, and, and still showing our child that, like, we love him. I completely understand what she's saying about like how sometimes when you're in a relationship you take that person over everyone and everything so you can get your vision clouded about what you should and shouldn't do and like most of the time when people have kids together it's even worse than if they're just you know in a relationship together so like I really get what she's saying I'm a big 
big believer in that what you reap, you will sow. Oh, girl, me too. Like, I believe that anything that you do, if you wrong someone, it's going to come back to you. So, watch how you treat people. Like, you got to stay humble and, like, God does not like ugly. So, anything you do wrong to someone is going gonna, is gonna to come back to haunt you. You so bad, you're going to reap bad. I remember when you said that you could have somebody better. And I can't even lie to you, it really messed my hair up. Had me looking in the mirror, disgusted with myself. Wishing that I looked like someone else. Like the girls you like on Instagram. Damn. And you really had the nerves to call me insecure. Maybe it wasn't you, maybe it's true. I didn't know my worth. Maybe, maybe, I should have loved me first. Maybe, maybe. After really though, no matter like if you love somebody or if you like want to be with someone or you feel a close connection to, to someone, don't ever let their happiness and don't ever let how they feel about themselves or about you take over how you feel about you. That's basically what she's trying to say. You always have to put you first and you always have to love you first. Don't ever forget that. You are the first priority in your own life looking at like what not just my looks but i'm talking about everything that i do all the hat, different hats i wear and still be a mom like i i feel like a very strong woman and i feel like that alone makes me really beautiful i love myself and i know i love myself but i'm still learning myself wow that song really like made me connect to how I feel when I listen to the song. So now, when I listen to the song, I'm gonna feel like it's about self-love and it's about knowing yourself and knowing to stay humble no matter what somebody do to you, that you have to worry about you, basically. And yeah, so make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and comment another video that you think I should watch. Um, Like another video that you think I should react to that's a genius like, deeper meaning behind a song or the you know process of their thoughts when they made the song so have a great day guys and love you bye